Oh, okay, guys. So everyone is uh, getting confusing about the top-down analysis, right? So let's uh, take a top. Let's take an example, okay? So let me take an example. Uh, we are trading using the concept of money transfer, right? So what we need to have, if we need to have an entry, we need a uh, liquidity sweep. And again, a breakout structure. And again, money to transfer. Money transfer need to happen, okay? This is the way we are going to trade. Why? Because we know everything uh, here was controlled by uh, like money, right? So we need to uh, we need to wait for the money transfer to happen. So already we have seen this example. So let me uh, show you once again. Okay. Okay. What happens? Look at here. So let uh, I'm switching to one hour. It not uh, it doesn't mean that I'm using only for all only. Okay. Okay. So have a look. Here we have a demand zone, which is rally a base a rally, right? So after a rally base rally, look at here what happens. Price games and we got a liquidity sweep. Nice liquidity sweep. And we got a breakout structure in the upside. So after this breakout structure, look at here. After this breakout structure, this uh, money from this week got transferred to this particular area, right? Look at here. Here, the stop losses are collected. And here, the stop losses is... Uh, is collected in the form of money and now the money is transferred from here to here, right? So this is the block we are going to look for an entry. Okay, how? Uh, just because of money transfer, that's it. Nothing, okay? And we got a uh, false breakout structure. Look at this, false breakout structure. It's called inducement, right? It's called inducement. And we have an inducement. Now, we are not going to take any entries from this area. We are going to wait. And I'm going to switch the time frames for my convenient. Look at here what happens. Now again, we got a liquidity sweep. And we need to wait for a breakout structure, right? I'm allowing the price to play, we got a breakout structure. And this was not enough to take an entry. We need to wait for some kind of inducement formation. So what are the criteria of an order block? It needs to break the structure. It needs to sweep the liquidity. It, it must have imbalance and it needs to build a form of inducement. So just wait for the form of inducement to happen. Look at this type one false breakout structure happens, right? So this is false breakout structure. Abuse happens, right? And it's our inducement. And I am marking this particular order block to look for entries towards Kaya. But I don't took this entry also. Okay? I don't take. I am not going to take directly. I was waiting for the price to reach my point of interest first. After reaching, I am going to switch the time frame to one minute. Why especially one minute? Because you need to switch a lot of time frames, not only spare, but specifically one minute. So which time is convenient for you, you need to switch. Look at here what happens in the same formation. Got a liquidity sweep. Sorry. We got a liquidity sweep here. And we have a breakout structure here. And we got inducement over here. And now we have a perfect block, which is a water block, which contains imbalance, everything else. And look at this, it's a type one, false breakout structure. So we are going to put our entry trigger over here, stop loss over here, and targets. The first targets will be Asian ice. Yeah, I think this is the Asian. So this will be the first target. It offers us one as to 15. And price camps and taps. And just running, 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 running. Okay, let me switch the time frame. And started playing, right? Done. Target's done. 
So this is how you need to look. Look at this. How many components we you uh, we have used before? First of all, demand reaction after a supply failure, we have a demand reaction, and this demand we got a strong low formation, and then this strong low price needs to break a structure. Oh, okay, fine. It needs to break a supply and breaks the supply and price came back and again more time we got a uh, formation entry formation and again in the entry formation we look for more entry. So this this comes under uh, like overall top down analysis. So I hope you guys have seen this trade a lot of times. So let's see new. Okay. So yesterday I just noted it. So how you need to look your trades, okay? So first of all, you need to do a top down analysis. So in this top down, in this case, what is the top down analysis? So just go to the, I'm going to weekly, but definitely for every analysis, I'm not going to use weekly time frames, okay? So in this weekly time frame, look what happens. Price just came and uh, didn't sweep this lows, fine. Price just came and mitigates this uh, low uh, demand area, which is after a supply failure, mitigates this demand and again came back to the origin. Yeah, just that. reacted to just reacted to this particular demand area. Just reacted to this particular demand area. And we got a breakout section. And after price gains down, we are reacting from a demand area in the weekly time frame. It doesn't make sense, okay? For a lower time it's not going to use. But look here what happens. Just look here. We got a demand area, breakout structure, price gains to the origin. And from the origin, we got one more drop, breakout section. So it was in the daily time frame. And look. It's a demand zone in the daily time frame, right? So let me switch to the four hour. Four hour, there is a clear demand. Zone. Okay. So what I need to do when price was here, actually, what I need to do. So look at the confluence. What is the confluence? Now switch to the one hour. Is there any demand area was already mitigated? Now let's see. Look here, what happens? Got a clear demand area over here. A clear demand. A rally base rally. And look, price just came and again went to up to this size. And after uh, after this, after printing this size, price just come uh, came to our point of interest, got mitigated, and after mitigating, it takes out the high. Look at here. So we know once uh, this demand was validated, it needs to be liquidated. Exactly, it happens, right? Exactly, it happens. Now, price just came to this lower point of interest, which is a demand also. And we know the price uh, broker supply over here. So if the supply was broken, this demand needs to be made sense. But which area? We need to look, okay? I'm going to switch time frames to 50 minutes. Is there any area? Look. Yeah, look here. Got a clear area. Which is, li contains liquidity sweep. Liquidity sweep and the breakout structure. And look what happens here. Here, our formula works. So, uh, the supply got failed. And that is there is a demand formation. Rally based rally. And this demand was already worked so it's already mitigated. Now it needs to be taken out. Okay, it needs to be taken out, right? It needs to be taken out. After taking out this, uh, taking out this demand. So let's refine more. Okay, is there any perfect demand area to look? Let's refine it more. Let's refine it more. Is there any particular demand area? No, there is no. So let me use the fifteen minutes. Okay. 15 minutes time. Okay, this is my block. Okay. And what are the things I need to look for? Uh, and again, is there any uh, confirmation to go? 
I need to look for some kind of confirmation play schemes. And again, this makes a uh, like uh, this is opening time, it will be considered as a liquidity. Okay. Look at here exactly price forms a inducement, right? Inducement over this area. I was allowing the price to play and after look at the range. Look at the range. Price is forming uh, one, uh, sub, this line act as a perfect support. One, two, three, four times support. They act as a support. So it will be considered as a liquidity area. So let's try to validate our problems. And let's see. And look at look here. Here price taps. And I didn't look took any entry. Okay. That needs to make sense. I didn't took entries. Because I was waiting for the, some kind of confirmation. Look at here. We got a confirmation that this supply got failure. If the supply got failure, which area needs to be make sense? A demand area. And look here. We got a same formation of ours. Got a liquidity sweep. And we got a breakout structure in this area. And if I switch it to one minute. Look at this. This was a false breakout structure. So it will be come under type one FB verse. Okay. Why this was a false break of structure? Because look at this. The actual money was here. The actual money, this candle mitigates. So price needs to come back to this candle to collect all the money. And look at here. So this will be our entry zone. Okay. Every criteria means this is how you need to do a top down analysis. And what will be the targets? This will be the first target. We know this low, this guy needs to be taken out. Okay. This will be the first target. And what's the second target? So just switch the time frame to some other high time frame, like four hour. And just mark the inefficient price action area. And Look, is there any demand area or uh, supply area already mitigated? So this was the second target. And we know this is a fresh supply. So this may give some reaction, some kind of reactions. So let's ignore. So it also one has to 32 or a trade, right? Okay, let's see what what is going to uh, what is going to happen. Okay, price just came and tags, tag us right. Okay. I hope it makes sense. So, look at this trade. So, what is the confluence behind this trade? We didn't use only this demand area to entry, right? We are using uh, over like a lot of confluences behind this trade, right? We didn't use any single confluence uh, using a single confluence using a simple supply failure and the demand reaction. It doesn't make sense. We need to have a top-down analysis in our, in our same view. I hope this video makes sense for you all, right? Okay. Mm. That's it. Uh, I'll do a one more breakdown. Mm. And today, okay.